Top 10 Western Philosophers with Deerstream English. Friedrich Wilhelm Nietzsche was a German philosopher, cultural critic, composer, poet, writer, and philologist whose work has exerted a profound influence on modern intellectual history. He began his career as a classical philologist before turning to philosophy. The Will to Power. Nietzsche suggested that we can move past our will to truth and free ourselves from the entrapment of the herd mentality by becoming beyond good and evil. Instead of falling victim to our will to truth and borrowing the values of others, we should awaken our will to power, which is our passion and our drive to create our life in the image of what we value. Socrates was a Greek philosopher from Athens who is credited as a founder of Western philosophy and the first moral philosopher of the Western ethical tradition of thought. An enigmatic figure, Socrates authored no texts and is known mainly through the posthumous accounts of classical writers, particularly his students, Plato and Xenophon. Examining one's self is the most important task one can undertake, for it alone will give us the knowledge necessary to answer the question, how should I live my life? As Socrates explained, once we know ourselves, we may learn how to care for ourselves, but otherwise we never shall. Karl Heinrich Marx was a German philosopher, economist, historian, sociologist, political theorist, journalist, and socialist revolutionary. Born in Trier, Germany, Marx studied law and philosophy at university. He married Jenny von Westphalen in 1843. Marx's critique of capitalism and capitalist society has shaped much of the social thinking in Western countries that led to the welfare state and extensive government intervention into economic affairs. And it served as the ideological banner that inspired the socialist and communist revolutions of the 20th century, beginning in Russia in 1917 and still retaining political power today in such countries as Cuba, North Korea, Vietnam, and China. Aristotle was a Greek philosopher and polymath during the classical period in ancient Greece. Taught by Plato, he was the founder of the Lyceum the peripatetic school of philosophy and the Aristotelian tradition. According to Aristotle, the goal of a happy life is action itself, aiming to reach eudaimonia. For Aristotle, eudaimonia represents the ultimate goal. Every activity is performed for a certain target, which is rated individually as good and makes the best life to an active approach. Eudaimonia is a Greek word commonly translated as happiness or welfare. However, more accurate translations have been proposed to be human flourishing, prosperity, and blessedness. René Descartes was a French philosopher, mathematician, and scientist who invented analytical geometry, 
linking the previously separate fields of geometry and algebra. He spent a large portion of uh, his working life in the Dutch Republic, initially serving the Dutch States Army of Maurice of Nassau, Prince of Orange and the Stadtholder of the United Province. One of the deepest and most lasting legacies of Descartes' philosophy is his main thesis that mind and body are really distinct, a thesis now called mind-body dualism. He reaches this conclusion by arguing that the nature of the mind, that is, a thinking, non-extended thing, is completely different from that of the body, that is, an extended, non-thinking thing. And therefore, it is possible for one to exist without the other. Plato was an Athenian philosopher during the classical period in ancient Greece, founder of the Platonist school of thought and the academy, the first institution of higher learning in the Western world. Instead of following a political path, Plato thought it more important to educate would-be statesmen. For this reason, he set up a school for future leaders. His school was called the Academy, named for the park in which it was located. Plato's Republic contains a treatise on education. Plato is considered by many to be the most important philosopher who ever lived. He is known as the father of idealism in philosophy. His ideas were elitist with the philosopher king as the ideal ruler. <clears throat> Carl Gustav Jung was a Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalysist who founded analytical psychology. Jung's work has been influential in the fields of psychiatry, anthropology, archaeology, literature, philosophy, psychology, and religious studies. Jung worked as a research scientist at the famous Bergholzle Hospital under Eugene Bleuler. The collective unconscious is a universal version of the personal unconscious, holding mental patterns or memory traces which are shared with other mem members of the human species. These ancestral memories, which Jung called archetypes, are represented by universal themes in various cultures as expressed through literature, art, and dreams. Immanuel Kant was a German philosopher and one of the central Enlightenment thinkers. Kant's comprehensive and systematic works in epistemology, metaphysics, ethics, and aesthetics have made him one of the most influential figures in modern Western philosophy. Act only according to that maxim by which you can at the same time will that it should become a universal law. It should be thought of in a wider sense as well. What would happen to society if everyone acted in the way that I am? It instructs us to detach ourselves from our own self-interests. We should approach the situation in a completely unbiased perspective put ourselves in someone else's shoes. Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Jean-Jacques Rousseau was a Genevine philosopher, writer, and composer. His political philosophy influenced the progress of the Enlightenment throughout Europe, as well as aspects of the French Revolution and the development 
of modern political, economic, and educational thought. Rousseau was convinced that laws could not be unjust if the general will of the people was followed. The social contract was suffused with the belief that freedom and civil liberty are essential to a just society. Society should not be ruled by elites, but by the general will of all people. Rousseau provided justification for the idea of a liberal society based on popular will that would be embraced by the American colonists in the years leading up to the US Revolution. The American colonists believed that the social contract with England had been broken. Rousseau's belief in the primacy of the individual, however, has proved to be an idea that found its greatest acceptance in the United States. David Hume was a Scottish Enlightenment philosopher, historian, economist, librarian, and essayist, who is best known today for his highly influential system of philosophical empiricism, skepticism, and naturalism. Beginning with a treatise on human nature, Hume strove to create a naturalistic science of man that examined the psychological basis of human nature. Without emotion, without desire, we have no reasons to act at all. Cool reason cannot provide us with motivation. It can only help us judge the wisdom of our diverse desires and help us to achieve the ones we end up endorsing. One surprising consequence of this idea is that morality is rooted in emotion, not reason. It is not logic that tells us murder is wrong, but the compassion we have for our fellow human beings. The heart without the head often goes wrong, but a head without a heart wouldn't go anywhere at all. <laughs>